Welcome to the Dr. Deborah Hettinger Alumni Faculty Lecture Series. The series features live webinar style lectures from TLU faculty alumni and staff about specialized topics. Dr. Hettinger had an interest in other cultures and traveled to Canada every summer to visit her daughter and do research. This interest ties in well with our discussion today about study abroad. I'm Charlotte Bailey, Director of International Education at TLU, and I work with students interested in studying abroad. TLU offers a robust program that supports students to study in over 40 countries across our majors. People want to know, how does one go about choosing to study abroad? What are the details? What are the benefits, the challenges? To find out, I have with me in the studio two students who have studied abroad. Lexi Call, a molecular biology major who studied for a semester in Australia, and Afsar Sunasara, an athletic training major who studied for a semester in England. We also have our foreign correspondent with us, Annalise Lifesti, who is a dramatic media major who is currently studying in South Korea. Welcome to all of you. Annalise, why did you choose to study abroad? I chose to study abroad because I'm in my last year of undergraduate and I knew that um, this would be the most affordable it would ever be to get to travel for this amount of time and I just really wanted to go somewhere new and see new places while I had the free time that I have right now. Okay, great. Afsar, you're next. Why did you choose to study abroad in your particular host country in England? So I chose to study abroad in England because I wanted to go somewhere where I could travel to other countries easily and also in England I could take the courses that I would need to graduate on time. Studying abroad um, wouldn't enable me to graduate later. I would just graduate on, the, on time. So being, a bit, being able to take the courses that I needed to really is what pushed me to study abroad in England. Okay, super. Uh, Annalise, back to you. What made it possible for you to study abroad? The thing that made it possible for me to study abroad was the um, scholarships that TLU offered and all the financial assistance I was able to get. Um, it was a lot more affordable than I originally thought it would be and uh, TLU really worked with me and my professors really worked with me so that my major requirements would line up with um, studying abroad. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Uh, now, next question for you, Annalise. How did you approach discussing the possibility of study abroad with your parents? Well, I approached studying abroad with my parents. Basically, I just told them I was going, and um, uh, I gave them, I kind of presented them with the options of the places that I was thinking about going and the costs, and um, they were really, really supportive, so I was really blessed. They realized that it was going to be a strange place and not like France or something, but <laughs> we were golden. <laughs> so. Yes. Yeah, and 14 hours difference, yeah, is, is quite a big difference, yes. But very good that they supported you. <laughs> Excellent. Um, Afsar, a couple questions for you. What were you most worried about before going abroad? So my biggest fear before going abroad was like, not making friends, although that, that was just foolish of me because I've made so many friends studying abroad. I've met so many wonderful people. But that was my number one fear. But you have to realize that you're, the people that you study abroad with are also people just like yourself. Like they're cool people who wanna travel and if they're there because they wanna travel and they wanna make new friends and they're outgoing. And so it's really easy to make new friends studying abroad because everyone that's there is just so cool. Mm -hmm. And that just made me like, just all my fears just vanished like the first day. Fit right in, yep, excellent. And what were, what are the top three things that made your experience so special? So number one, probably the people that I went with, again, just going off the last question, because the people were so easygoing and, and they just, I love them so much and everything that we did was so fun. Uh, number two was like the ease of travel, how easy it is to travel in Europe, um, going from country to country for a, a affordable cost and uh, just how quick it is to just like, book a flight or book a train trip. And then the third thing is like putting that all together is like gaining that autonomy and um, responsibility of booking travel 
and um, being on my own or being with just a few friends and, and doing like a big event, you know, by yourself. Mm -hmm. And so all of those together, like just those are like my favorite things that I've gained from studying abroad. That's super yeah. good. Uh, Lexi, a few questions for you. Uh, what was the most difficult challenge to overcome while you were abroad? Well, I think my most difficult one was actually on my first day. So I just landed, um, I had gotten all my things unpacked, I got my new cell phone number, I went out to dinner with my, my group abroad, and it was so much fun. And then they were like, okay, it's time to find your way home on the trains. And they ended up losing my phone on the first day that had contact with my parents, my banking information, and I, my brand new phone number. And I was so scared, but I just took a minute and I realized that it's all gonna be okay. I actually found my phone, I got it back, and I thought to myself, if I can make it with this first challenge, then I can make the whole trip the best experience of my life, so. Excellent. Yeah. And so, kind of leading into that, how did your time abroad change you? So I definitely learned how to be um, confident with myself and the decisions that I was making. I had to make all of my decisions myself. I couldn't just call my neighbors or my parents and ask mm -hmm. them for help. Um, I became more confident as a person in making those decisions. And Lexi, following up mm -hmm. on the uh, skills you learned abroad, how about any benefits that from your study abroad that are helpful now, now that you've returned? Well, besides those skills that I learned while I was abroad, I've definitely learned how to use them here. And um, it definitely looks great on an application. It shows that you are culturally diverse, that you're open to change and opportunities. And um, it's also helped me with my connections here at TLU learning stories about other people studying abroad, sharing my stories, meeting other people in administrative offices and all over campus. Mm -hmm. So Great, yeah. good. And now for all of you, um, what is your favorite memory? And Annalise, I know you've only been there a little while, <laughs> but for it, uh, just in your first few weeks, you can talk about your memory, uh, your favorite experience and then these guys can talk about mm -hmm. theirs. Mm -hmm. I've been here for one month but my favorite memory studying abroad so far has probably been when I went to a place outside of Seoul called uh, Yeongju and I got to stay in these traditional Korean houses and sleep on the floor and I got to wear the traditional clothes and eat a lot of the traditional food and see the mountains and it was just a really cool experience outside of the city seeing more into the traditional culture of South Korea. And then get to come back to the city where there's like shopping, coffee, and stuff like that. <laughs> Excellent. That's great. Good. City mouse versus rural mouse. Yes. <laughs> How about you guys? Um, so my just, it's hard to pick one, but if I had to just pick one memory, um, we went to Barcelona and we were just on the beach and I saw these guys, these three friends, they were just throwing around an American football. But they were like they were not throwing it around correctly, <laughs> and so I kind of just approached them like, "Hey, like I'm from America, I can show you how to throw this." And then I showed them how to throw, them, and there actually was like three like really close best friends from Italy mm. who were there on the beach too. And we it was me and three of my friends from from America, and we all all six of us, we all just played football, we just played catch on the beach, and that was just unforgettable. That is you know? great. Mm -hmm. Yep. Very cool. So the last few days that I was in Australia, my friend and I took a random last minute trip to the Sunshine Coast and we got a hotel and so we landed really early in the morning and I wanted to walk the beach and we were looking at the different paths that we could take and I picked the blue one, which was the wrong one. <laughs> so we had about an inch foam flip flops on and I was thinking we were just gonna walk barefoot on the beach, and that was not the case. We were walking up mm. these rocky mountain hills, and um, it wasn't beach the whole way. So it ended up being a 10 mile walk, basically barefoot, wow. with no food and water, but it was a beautiful sight, and I took so many pictures. And when we got back, um, we got pizza, and we made it to our hotel, and we filled up the bath with hot water, and we both sat fully clothed in the bath, <laughs> soaking our legs and feet, wow. eating pizza, because we were so tired. But it was, <laughs> it was an amazing time. It was so much fun. Wow, <laughs> super. Those were all super great responses. Thank you very, very much. Um, 
For more information about uh, TLU Study Abroad program, check out the website. Thank you for taking time to watch the video. Go, Go Bulldogs, Bulldogs Abroad! abroad. <laughs>